Hi, Justice Rowe, Chicago-based artist here for the U.S. Open Art Courts in Riverdale, Illinois. We're really looking forward to uh, the U.S. Open Ultimate Sports Challenge coming to Riverdale with Matt Forte and Spice Adams. Looking forward to Matt Forte winning that challenge. What's up, everybody? It's Anthony Adams. Hey there. I know you thought it was Arthur Ashe, but no, it's me, Matt Forte. I'm here to let you know that the U.S. Open Ultimate Sports Challenge is coming here to Chicago at the Riverdale Art Courts to benefit the youth of the Ace Project, celebrating their 50th anniversary of the U.S. Open. Are you ready for the U.S. Open 2018? Yeah! Hi guys, so I'm Jessica from Tennis Message and I'm a Net Generation Ambassador and I'm here at the US Open Art Courts. There's four courts, they all look amazing and I think it's really important to have these. It will bring more kids to the community of tennis. I want to see Spice Adams and Matt Forte out here. <laughs> I'm going up against my former teammate, Matt Forte. Now last year, I beat the Mario Davis 6-0. But this year, it will not be easy. <laughs> You're going up against a different app. He didn't have a chance. You can catch us streaming live on Facebook, Periscope, or YouTube on June 30th. Hi, Justice Rowe, Chicago-based artist here for the U.S. Open Art Courts in Riverdale, Illinois. We're really looking forward to uh, the U.S. Open Ultimate Sports Challenge coming to Riverdale with Matt Forte and Spice Adams. Looking forward to Matt Forte winning that challenge. What's up, everybody? It's Anthony Adams. Hey there. I know you thought it was Arthur Ashe, but no, it's me, Matt Forte. I'm here to let you know that the U.S. Open Ultimate Sports Challenge is coming here to Chicago at the Riverdale Art Courts to benefit the youth of the Ace Project, celebrating their 50th anniversary of the U.S. Open. Are you ready for the U.S. Open 2018? Yeah! Hi guys, so I'm Jessica from Tennis Message and I'm a Net Generation Ambassador and I'm here at the U.S. Open Art Courts. There's four courts, they all look amazing and I think it's really important to have these. It will bring more kids to the community of tennis. I want to see Spice Adams and Matt Forte out here. <laughs> I'm going up against my former teammate, Matt Forte. Now last year, I beat the Mario Davis 6-0. But this year, it will not be easy. <laughs> You're going up against a different app. You didn't have a chance. You can catch us streaming live on Facebook, Periscope, or YouTube on June 30th.
especially the kids from the Days Project. How about we give them a round of applause? Midwest section, thank you very much. To take these courts, renovate them, and breathe new life into these facilities. After bringing them about, we partnered up with local artists in each market. In this case, the incredibly talented Justice Row. The courts as a canvas and gave them free reign to reimagine what a tennis court could look like and turn these into works of art. And I think we can all agree that justice did just that. Once again, let's give them another round of applause. Now, I know it's pretty hot out here, and we want to get to the tennis action. But before we do that, just want to bring up a few folks to say some words about how we made this happen. First up, Rob Howland, Director of Programs and Services for the USDA Foundation. Rob. Rob. Good morning, everyone. The mission of the USDA Foundation is to bring tennis and education together to change the lives of youth. And we, we do that through a network of national junior tennis and learning chapters, just like the ACE Project. <laughs> I need to recognize our friends at the Riverdale Park District who made this incredible project possible and stood shoulder to shoulder with us to ensure that it happened. The USDA Foundation also wants to thank Chase for making these courts, these incredible, beautiful art courts possible, and also for five years of return to serve. A round of applause for Chase. These courts look amazing on you, Riverdale. Yes! Um, I can remember just like yesterday, standing on these courts and wondering when would be our first tennis camp on these courts, right? Fast forward five years, these courts have transformed into the perfect space for our children, for our families, and for the community. Right? A, place a place that, that we, we can, can bring, bring people together, together and learn the game. So I just want to say thank you very much, Chase. Thank you, USDA. Thank you, Riverdale Park District, for being the most perfect partner. Um, and just thank you, everyone, for, for creating this space that the community of Riverdale will always be proud of. Yes. 
Foundation for spearheading this great renovation of the tennis courts here. If you've known what this tennis court has looked like, if you live in Riverdale, if you've driven past 144, you've seen what this tennis court looked like before the ACE Foundation came in. This is a complete renovation. The community of Riverdale is extremely proud to partner with these great organizations to make sure that our youth have an outlet. I haven't been able to do this alone. You guys haven't been able to do this on alone. But on my side, I've had the support of a great board, including Commissioner Betty Irvin Robinson. Please give her a round. the Christian in the shade over there. So again, thank you for everyone who has had a hand in renovating this court. Thank you to everyone who is here today. And Last but not least, kids enjoy yourself. <laughs> As, As I, I said, said, we've got a reigning champion. champion. Mr. Forte, are, are you ready? ready? Just stand in one spot. <laughs> there you go. I didn't see you there, man. What, what, what do you, what do you think, think about, about today? today? <laughs> the mic is ready. Are you ready? I stay ready, so I don't have to get ready. I don't even need a mic. Everybody hit me. <laughs> I'm going to do the talking, and I'm going to let the racket do the talking. I'm going to destroy you. <laughs> right, right, right. I, think, I think we're ready to go. I think we're ready to go. go. All right, man, let's go over your fence. I'm going to let this fight go over your fence. All right, guys, come in for the huddle. Come in. I win, yes. Come on, man. Let my hand go. Team Adams. Now, if everyone, everyone who is not a kid in the A's project, or Mr. Adams or Mr. Forte, please. Get against the fence line. Alright guys. Yeah. Well, I can't right. Everybody get in the puddle and grab a little piece of the flag. Oh no, what's the Yeah, so you can kind of give it a little bit of a
All right, Matt and Spice, let's get you out here on the court. We got the tennis balls. We're ready to roll. Is that out? Was that out? Let's go. I thought you needed a ball. Just a warm up. What was that? I got it. Hey man. This dude. Are you? I saw a little ant right there. I was trying to get him. Should be on this team. <laughs> Sorry. Spice a warm up. Home run. 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 Get your ball. Home run. Chase it. This dude been hustling me. He's trying to say he don't know how to play. What is it? Love to 30? I just know you got zero. Love to 30? All right, here comes the heat. Is the puck going over? Yeah, right. Right, right here. This side. Wrong, wrong sport. <laughs> oh, no, you don't serve. What are we doing? I was, I, was, I was faking you out. Let's go. Up. Yep. We're we'll gonna get the kids out here after you guys finish. So what we're gonna do is play a quick first to seven. All right. First to seven. As I said, we're gonna have Natasha here help us out. Call, call the score. Got any tips for them? I'm, I'm tired. Already. Oh, two, two good tips. I don't know if I can do the second one. <laughs> you serve it. You serve it? Oh, you're taking everything off. You serve it? Go ahead. Yeah. All right, folks, let's get going. Yeah. 
That's out. Hey, that was out anyway. Nice, where you go? Hey, you about, you about to be dead. Wow. Let's go. Nice, there's a lot more match left to play. One all. <laughs> Switch. Open ball person right there, doing a great job. How about a round of applause? That serve was out. Oh, double ball for Adams. Two all now. Me? Me? Two all between Spice and Forte.
Chase, the USA Foundation, as well as Justice, and please come back over to these two batters for a quick team photo. Come on, everyone. I'm really that sorry. building this for the last 50 years. The 2018 U.S. Open, built for glory. Are you guys ready? When you think of return to serve, what comes to mind? Having fun. Today's a great celebration, but really it's about a lifetime experience and being able to take that experience to the next level. Championship.
Hi, Justice Rowe, Chicago-based artist here for the U.S. Open Art Courts in Riverdale, Illinois. I was super excited to find out that I was selected to be the uh, Chicago artist for this project. The tennis courts kind of lent itself very well to my abstract aesthetic. I mean, a lot of my work is kind of uh, deconstructing architectural space and just finding ways to uh, use the uh, court lines to kind of balance against the, uh, the court as a whole. It's really forward thinking of the USTA Foundation and the US Open to use the uh, 50th anniversary to kind of spread this beyond New York to make it a nationwide celebration of tennis and to get kids excited about it. It's overwhelming to think about all the people that will see the work. That's where I kind of get the motivation. So not only thinking about the kids from Riverdale and the South Side, but you know, globally, people who are interested in tennis seeing these courts. I'm really excited for this project because of the uh, community involvement and the opportunity that's going to generate more interest for the kids in this area to kind of use the facilities and the courts and to get involved in tennis. I think in Chicago, because of you know the Bulls and that history, there's such an emphasis on basketball. I think other sports kind of get lost, and I think there's so much talent in Chicago, especially in some of the underserved communities, that to get a program going like this, just to get a few more kids involved, I think it can spiral and uh, inspire a lot of kids. So I can't wait to see the uh, kids from the Ace Project out here taking advantage of the court and being inspired, hopefully, by the artwork, and uh, hopefully generate a few future tennis pros out of Chicago. As a father, uh, you know, my daughter is a constant source of inspiration, but I'm uh, really hopeful and pushing her towards different organized sports uh, as being really important to her development and education. I'm trying to balance that, of course, with the arts, so this is kind of a perfect combination where she can see, like, oh, you know, art and tennis go together. We're really looking forward to uh, the U.S. Open Ultimate Sports Challenge coming to Riverdale with Matt Forte and Spice Adams. Looking forward to Matt Forte winning that challenge. Are you guys ready? When you think of return to serve, what comes to mind? Having fun. Today's a great celebration, but really it's about a lifetime experience and being able to take that experience to the next level. Thank you, USDA! Thank you, USDA! I met with him. Oh, yeah! Yeah! The winner! The way, yeah. yeah. Scoop, no, one more step, one more step. All right, yeah, there we go. She said, move all the way out. Move, move all the way out, my photo. Tell him what you want. Is it on the mainline? Tell him what you want.
We've been building this for the last 50 years. The 2018 US Open, built for glory.